C100. Hello, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Any One Life to Live fans? Any All My Children fans? Fabulous. <laughs> you guys are going to have so much fun tonight. We have cast members from both shows live with us. We're going to do a question and answer session, and you'll all get to meet them afterwards. But we have a few housekeeping things to do first. Yes. This is all the requirements. Um, first of all, please, no tweeting, taking pictures during the uh, shows, during the premieres, or during the interviews. And also, afterward, please don't post any spoilers on Facebook or Twitter because obviously no one knows yet. So keep it amongst yourselves. Yeah, Thank so you many much. people are so, so excited that these two soap operas are back and they're so happy and they want to find out all the cool stuff that's happening, you know, while they're watching. So we don't want to spoil it for them. And also Z100.com, we're going to um, stream this for you live. So you can check it out there. And of course, you can always go there for pictures and all kinds of cool stuff after it's all said and done. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's bring out the cast from One Life to Live. We have Erica Slazak. <laughs> She's like royalty, I swear. <laughs> right there, please. Also from One Life to Live, Corbin Blue. Woo! Ladies, sit down, calm yourselves, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> From One Life to Live, Melissa Archer. <laughs> Beautiful. Hi, I Melissa. I want her hair color. I know. <laughs> okay. And from All My Children, Katie McLean. <laughs> I love your pants, by the way, Katie. I was going to say, you would do look great I in those, those pants. I want those pants. And also from All My Children, Torsten K. Come on, Torsten. <laughs> Have a seat, guys. Get comfortable. <coughs> Welcome. Well, thanks. Well, first of all, congratulations on this brand new venture for all of you. All my children and one life to live. They're going to be cool? on. It's great. So on it's Hulu. Hulu. Hulu Plus and iTunes. And it premieres. I learned all about that this morning. And FX <laughs> Canada. So we got a bunch of questions from our audience members. They want to know, obviously, a bunch of things. Um, but first of all, I think Danielle and I were both curious, how excited were you guys when you found out that this was an option, that this was going to be coming back online? I was delighted because it's 18 minutes from my house. <laughs> <laughs> Not, is it really? Right, yeah. But you're Erica Slazak, so did you say, car service, please? No. <laughs> they said, do you need a car? I said, are you crazy? It's 18 minutes from my wow. house. <laughs> and I don't trust drivers anyway. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I mean, all is joking aside, it's wonderful to have these shows back on the air and in any form. It's just wonderful. Because the audience was so sad when we all went off. They were sad and disappointed and kind of miserable. And people stopped me on the street and said, we don't know what to do. I mean, it, it kind of ended so abruptly. And our ratings were good. The shows were good. You know, so it, 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 it was a wonderful thing that Prospect Park did not give up and c continued through and got us back on the air. Now, I know you guys were trying to do this for a couple of years, I heard. Like, they, were, they kept saying, oh, we're going to do it, and then they didn't do it. So what's different now than didn't happen before? They have money now. Oh, oh. that's good. Money's always good. <laughs> that's fabulous. No, they, they took a year to work it out, to get it all done, to make all the deals with the unions and all the things that were holding them up the last time, and they have financing, and that was the trick. Money talks. And, and a lot of really careful planning and finding this wonderful studio that's 18 minutes from my front <laughs> door. <laughs> well, we did have um, one of our audience members' questions asked specifically, how many people from the original cast are coming back and you know from both shows and how many new people do you have because I know there are definitely new members who join the cast as well I think it's a great mix actually we do have a lot of the original cast obviously yeah. almost everyone here. who was on the show when one life to live went off the air is back there are a few who are not but Did almost anybody say else. no people said no there were some people who simply weren't available okay that who were working sense. elsewhere but then we have you continue new people there well no there are new people I mean there, there's maybe Yay. there's maybe <laughs> a one or two characters that have actually been a, a new a new cast member, you know, been recast. But uh, there are new, completely new characters. My character Jeffrey King has never been on the show before, so that's this is great. We have all new relationships going on. He's my on. new BFF. 
<laughs> really? Okay, maybe not. But I want to know. I want to know how quickly Corbin starts making out with somebody when his character. Like, right, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They, they keep, How long they did keep, it take? It's so funny. They keep saying that they're, they're going to try to pair us up. I think they're, they really they think they have a, a different thing in mind, but hopefully, maybe, I maybe know. everybody hooks up with everybody in Landry. Yeah, that's so. true. That's my point. <laughs> speaking, no, speaking of everyone hooking up with everyone, we also had someone want to know if, and maybe you guys don't know because you're not the writers, but do you think there'll be any crossover episodes? I, mean, I really hope so, because I just did um, like a whole bunch of interviews with Tuck Watkins yes. this morning, <laughs> and he's so funny and so much fun. I was like, <gasps> crossover, crossover, crossover. Yeah. <laughs> Dixie has to be a therapist to Tuck, because he's having <laughs> nightmares about chipmunks, you know? Yeah, it would be great. It would be fabulous. Oh, my God, I would love that so much. So Stephanie, who's in the audience, Stephanie Pincaro, where are you? All right, Hi, so Stephanie. Stephanie's question is, um, to anybody, um, who is your favorite character on the show besides yourself, and why? <laughs> you take that. Not, um, no, nah, that's I'm I'm the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny because I was going to say my favorite character is Torsten Kane's character. Oh, that's Zach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. He's so you. dark and mysterious, <laughs> and he's always into interesting things. And, and I found out today he owns casinos. Yes. Oh. Th thanks for watching, Eric. Oh, no. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, I do have a question, um, Katie. I was looking on IMDb. Do you know all of your characters' last names? Can you list them all? I think I can. Okay, I'm quizzing you. Go. Okay, it's Dixie, Cooney, Martin, Bodine. Oh, no, wait. Dixie, Cooney, Chandler, Martin, Bodine, Martin. That's very good. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> gold star. Gold star. I totally thought I was going to catch you up on that. I'm impressed. <laughs> All right, so Tammy from Ozone Park wants to know. Tammy, you out there? Yes, Tammy. Oh, there's Tammy. She's got her plate of food. <laughs> she girl. says, on TV you signed contracts, not that they were honored by ABC. Will you be signing contracts now? You yeah. mean for work? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, have yeah, to. we, we can't yeah. work without a contract. We can't work without yeah. a contract. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for like three years, three years. Okay, for how long? Um, I think they're all for one year because the deal with the union is only for a year right now. They, the union, our, our SAG after union made a deal for one year, and they said in one year if this goes, then we will talk about it again, and I'm sure they will renegotiate, but they wanted to make sure that everything was on the up and up for this year. So I, I, my contract's a year, I guess you're, uh, you, oh no, you're there for mm. 10 years. Corbin, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Corbin actually no, owns <laughs> the series. <laughs> under an alias. Yes, I bet. <laughs> no, they locked you in for a long time, <laughs> no, I'm no, sure. No, actually. No, it's, it's, I, I, my run isn't too long right now. We'll see. Okay. okay. Cool. Oh, he's we'll leaving see. early. Oh, uh, no, they're going to kill him off. They're not telling us, though. No, no, no. <laughs> um, Torsten, I was reading up on you, and uh -huh. you, uh, you've done a lot, but I read that you actually did stunts for a film. Is this true? You did stunts for The Bone Collector? Is that uh, true? Yeah, I did a little something for that, but uh, I started, but now I'm getting a little older, <laughs> and now it doesn't look that way. Um, <laughs> and things start, I just, I tore my bicep this year, broke my arm, now it's all going. Oh, gosh. South. Yeah, so I'm not pleased with that. Did you have, like, a, a stunt specialty? What what was your thing? Could you, like, fall from a building on your back? I was a good like fighter. Yeah? That was, yeah, it's my thing. And and all the real dangerous stuff that women like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, the what, whatever stuff. you whatever you want. Is, uh, <laughs> but you also cool. blog now for hockey, right? I did, yeah, a couple of years ago. Because you know that's as close as you can get to being a stuntman is playing hockey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you have all your teeth though. They're yeah. not all mine, but they're oh, okay. they're mine now. <laughs> they're your, you paid for them, right? Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, Melissa, um, you've been on the show for obviously a while, and was it? And this kind of applies to all of you, but when you guys found out that you you know it was being canceled originally, was it really hard to kind of get? rid of that character, I would imagine you bond with him after a while, and, and it would be hard to give it up. Um, it, it was. It was. Um, and all <laughs> it, was, it was weird that I was at home and sometimes would only allow my husband to call me Natalie, and <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to share these things, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's listening. It's fine. It's oh, fine. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but no, it was. It was very hard. I was, I was, I was with her for 10 years, so yeah. um, I felt like I was laying someone to rest, but yeah, here she's back. Here yeah. She's back. Now, do the storylines all pick, off from, pick up from where you guys left off? We pick up just a few months into the future, with the exception that they took our younger people, Danielle and Matthew and Destiny, and aged them up, made them 21, and that's just so they can go to the nightclub and get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But all my children is different. Uh, we're five years ahead. 
So, wow. um, so the kids, the teenagers could be a little bit older. Um, but of course, that only applies to them. You know, the, the, the adults right. haven't aged at, at all. No, never. <laughs> And Corbin, how was it for you, I mean, stepping into a cast that was so established for, I mean, you know, what One Life to Live has been on f since like 1968. Yeah. That's a little bit of a pressure, isn't it? Well, it's, I mean, it's such an historic piece of television. Yeah. I mean, it's such a veteran show. I mean, to be able to come into this and be able to have my own little stamp that I get to put on it is so honorable. I mean, I'm very excited. Um, but as far as coming into it, the cast is been so welcoming. Okay, so my, my, my very, very first day there, I had a fitting that I was doing, and they were saying, Erica is on set, you should actually, you should go and say hi to her if you can. And I'm like, okay, I'll make sure I go say hi. The next thing I know, there's a knock on the door, and it's her, and she's actually you were having over a fitting, to me to be like, hey! <laughs> 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 she came over to say, hey, I wanted to meet you, and we got it, and just from, from get-go. So no, awesome. He fit, he fit in like he had been there all his life. Aww. He's so good and so charming and so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, maybe, he is. Maybe he'll make Love out with you. you on the show. There we go. Uh, that's very unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it. No, there's such a thing as robbing no. the cradle. <laughs> no, no, no. We'd watch that episode over and it's over. Legal. <laughs> It'd be hot. It's legal, but it's still robbing the cradle. <laughs> Listen, Ben Davidson was young enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, Erica, um, Susan from South Harlem wants to know, she said, you're part of one of daytime's all-time favorite super couples. So what's it like working with Robin Strasser again, Dorian Lord? How is that? It's wonderful. Good. Robin hasn't changed an iota. She comes with the same fire and spit that she always had. I mean, day one on the show, you'll see it today. She marches in at the end and gives me hell. You know, that, <laughs> that's just what she does for a living. She hates Vicky. Wonderful. Um, and, and we've had a wonderful off-again, on-again, love-hate relationship, which still is strong. And it is one of the strongest relationships on the show. And I look forward to many, many, many more scenes with my dear, sweet enemy, Robin. Wonderful. <laughs> it's two powerhouses coming together yeah. for sure. We've got Danielle from Kings Park who wants to know, um, some of the other cast members are on, on other soap operas now. So do you think they're going to come back to you guys? Maybe, you know, they're home? Um, Roger we'll Howarth has been back. Mm -hmm. And he will be back for a short while. Uh, I don't believe Michael Easton and uh, Kristen Alderson are coming back. Okay. Uh, it, it's kind of a mix-up with the characters and the storylines, but I, I, I think they're kind of settled in California, and I think they're not going to come back. Okay. But Roger's coming back. And um, Trish from New Jersey wants to know, you know, new location where you're shooting, and so do you, minutes 18 <laughs> minutes from your house. Um, are the sets new? Do you get new homes, or is it the same homes? I get my own home. You get your own home? I got my own home. I was very excited. Ten After 10 years, I got my own home. I'm very she used excited. to live in my attic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really, really nice. pretty. You like, like it. it's gorgeous. Did like, I want him say? to come and decorate my house. Did you have any say in, in how no, it looked? Well, actually, this is a really funny story. I went by to ask if my music was playing too loud. Um, in my dressing room, and um, he was like, oh, while you're here, could you take a look at this paint and tell me if you have any offense to it? And I was like, oh, no, I don't have any offense. You're making up paint <laughs> swatches for your own apartment. And uh, that's what the cabinets are. That's nice. awesome. I must, I must tell you, the sets are beautiful, stunningly beautiful. They are um, not exactly the same as they were, but close enough that you can identify them, and they're beautifully done. Wow. So cool. One of our best ones is actually the new club. Shelter. Oh, where there'll it's be a lot of trouble, right? Oh, there's going to oh, be yeah, yeah, so trouble. much trouble. <laughs> everybody. Everybody. And it's a great place where all the characters seem to convene. Um, the first episode, most of the stuff goes down there. I mean, you just see everybody piling up there. Nice. It's great. And the music's yeah. really good. Oh, yeah. cool. The, music is good. This, the shelter was Capricorn that Blair owned, and now she owns Shelter. Nice. Shelter. And now, shelter. That it's on, now that it's on the web, this is what I want to know. Because, you know, on TV, you know, prime time, sometimes sure. you have to be careful with what you, you know, put out there. Um, can you guys get, like, really raunchy now? Because it's, like, you know, on the web. Like, this is, like, you can do things you couldn't do before. You mean <laughs> get, get all sexy? You mean? Yeah, you know, come on, Corbin, you <laughs> don't swear. We you know? did Kinda. pretty much everything before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. I mean, I wouldn't want my kids watching it when they were little. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little racier. It's a little edgier, um, and you know, I think, I think that that's, it's a little exciting that we can, we can incorporate that. But I don't think that it takes away from the heart of, of what it is. I don't think it's distracting. Okay. Cool. I think everything is character driven. Yeah, absolutely. 
I think it's tasteful. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think, I think there was a lot of talk, um, you know, uh, on the internet of people saying, oh, they're going to be swearing and there's going to be nudity. I'm not going to watch because that's rude and disgusting and offends me. But I really don't think that you'll be offended by this. I think it's, it's, it's done, like they were saying, you know, in, uh, true to the character or true to the situation. And there's a lot of times that it's actually quite funny, that the raciness is funny or, nice. the, or the swearing is funny. It comes at a place where you don't think, you're, you're not expecting it. And I, I mean, I, I actually don't know if there's any swearing in our... I like nudity. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the nudity doesn't offend me either. No, I'm fine yeah, with okay. it. <laughs> in any venue, really. Um, Katie and Torsten, since your show now has jumped five years, mm. did you guys get any heads up as to where your characters were going to be, or did you not know? I mean, you looked at the script, and you're like, oh, apparently now I'm here. Um, we had some conversation about it, um, uh, myself and the writers and the producers and stuff, and I was really excited when they came, they came up with what they came up for me, the, the ideas, and I was like, oh, great, this is what Dixie always wanted to be, you know, she's still a mom and she's still a wife, but she's, uh, she has a profession now, she's a job, she's a modern woman, <laughs> hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but can you say no though, like say you don't like something or you don't like a direction, can you say, yeah, I'm really not comfortable with this, can we switch it a little bit? Like nudity, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> there we go again. We Do you just want to take your shirt off? No, 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 I'm not. No, no. That, that ship sailed a long time ago. I think you want somebody else to take their shirt yeah, off. Yeah, if we could all maybe... Everyone, everyone take your shirts no, off. No, but you know what? I think the reason they jumped five years was not just um, to, to make this easier to get into, but we had some funky stuff going on at the end of All My Children. Those dead people come back to life, and I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't get it, and I was in it. So I, I think they kind of... <laughs> want to maybe start over a little bit better. They have okay. to get me away from, like, Dr. David's cave, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 You were dead, like, too, weren't you? I was. Right. I came yeah. back <laughs> like, I'm a llama, my God, I'm alive. I'm writing on the walls. I mean, yeah. yeah. Just cut your losses and move <laughs> yeah, forward. Right. Um, I have on. one final <laughs> question that is really important to me. Is anyone going to come back as an evil twin with, a, with like, a goatee? I... Oh, no, I don't want to give it away. <laughs> Melissa, you will with your goatee, so I know it's the evil you and not the good you. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, well, and Bethany's been, actually so going to be on one of the on the fourth episode. Yes. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yeah. The episode. Yeah, yeah. I shot. Um, I shot episode four. I actually grilled Dorian. I'm very mean to her. Oh, how oh, good! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought you would approve. Bravo. Of that. <laughs> so, nice. um, yeah, I think that episode will air um, Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Oh my god, fun. I can't believe we're saying that it's going to air on Thursday. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's going to air on Monday. Yeah, it starts Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the countdowns on there. I know. They can't they wait. Just the in case everyone on. hasn't heard, it's um, going to be released at 2 a.m. Pacific time, yes. 5 a.m. Eastern, Eastern time. Monday. What Monday about Monday Canada? On Monday, the 20th. <laughs> and you oh, can watch it Canada, any I think it's time. On whatever time right. it was That's just the release before. time. So yeah. it'll be up on the web Anytime you want after, after that. that. We are no longer daytime. We are now anytime. anytime. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, every time. I'm having to laugh. Anytime. Uh, you guys want to, like, meet them and stuff? <laughs> and take, like, pictures and stuff? Yeah. And cool. Don't touch them. No, no kidding, touching. And don't look them in the eyes. Everything else is fine. <laughs> well, what we're going to do is now we're going to have you guys watch the two premieres, and then we'll do a meet and greet afterwards. But I, thank you so I much. I think that was switched around. Am I are wrong we doing about the meet and greet first? We are doing the meet and greet first. Yeah. My bad, Torsten, thank you for you at least me. knowing okay. my job better than I do. <laughs> why, would, why would you be on their show, not our show? I don't get that. Um, Can you be on our show? I would I love to you be on invite your me show. on. You're invited. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Will you take your shirt off for me? Uh, you, of course, sure. If that's what it takes. <laughs> She'll take her shirt off for you. She takes her shirt off for everyone. So. <laughs> what? That's, that's why I asked her. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> we'll, we'll get on just fine. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well, Erica Slezak, Corbin Blue, Melissa Archer, Katie McLean, and Torsten K. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank We're you. all Thank very you. excited. Thank and thanks for talking with Z100. And we're going to do a meet and greet now. Yep. Cool. All right. Okay, and if you're watching on Z100.com, thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you.